Photo of two Royal Air Force ground crew installing a Type F.24 camera into a Westland Lysander Mk2 of No. 225 Squadron at RAF Tilsed, Wiltshire, September 1940. Note, this photo is somewhat unusual because both RAF airmen rank, are both wearing their number one parade dress. Or best blues, which implies this is a photo taken during an official station inspection, typically air officer rank. During routine operations, ground crew would be wearing heavy-duty working dress, protected by a one-piece blue-gray coverall. In all forms of aviation aviation, ground crew are personnel that service aircraft while on the ground. During routine turnaround, as opposed to aircrew, who operate all aspects of an aircraft whilst in flight. The term ground crew is used by both civilian commercial airlines and in military aviation. Dependent on the type of aircraft being operated, airline ground crew members typically include airframe technicians, engine technicians, avionics technicians. Military aircraft equipped with either weapons in or an ejector seat will also require a dedicated weapons technician ground crew member. Ground crew required for non-powered flight, such as gliders will include people who manually handle the glider aircraft from their storage location to their respective launch site. And then to return them at the end of flying. Aero-towed launched gliders will require ground crew commensurate with supporting the tow aircraft, which are typically single-piston engine general aviation small lightweight utility variants, often Cessna. For winch-launched gliders, ground crew will also include the winch launch operator, and also a payout vehicle operator whose purpose is to draw or pay out the winch launch cables which will be located at the far end of the upwind side of the airfield to the gliders awaiting their turn to launch at the opposite end of the airfield. For those aircraft which do not possess any controls for changing the direction course of the aircraft, commonly known as hot air balloons, these require particularly unique ground crew. Their roles include preparing the passenger basket with the correct amount of pressurized gas for the burners, testing of the burners, calculating the total mass of the balloon pilot and all passengers calculating and applying appropriate ballast weight. Then the assembly of the passenger basket to its lift balloon envelope, laying out the balloon envelope fabric in a manner that facilitates an efficient inflation. Prior to launch, it will require personnel to waft the balloon envelope during horizontal burner operation to ensure an efficient fill. When the balloon envelope at itself airborne, ground crew will be required to hold ground tug ropes to maintain the correct position of the balloon over the now vertically firing burner and to prevent the basket from being uncontrollably dragged along the ground, until the balloon is totally full and capable of launch. Once in flight, hot air balloon ground crew undertake a new task, that of driving one or more chase vehicles, initially to follow the progress and trajectory of the balloon in flight as best it can. Most hot air balloons have zero aviation-specific navigation aids, though modern pilots will typically utilize satellite navigation features found on many smartphones, along with a mobile voice telephony to maintain contact with the chase vehicle. The final task of the chase vehicle will be to locate and attend the balloon landing site, to repatriate any passengers back to their respective location, and also to thoroughly deflate the balloon envelope. Then correctly fold and stow away the envelope, along with the basket, and deliver all balloon equipment and its pilot back to their preferred location. Ground crew who are employed by the individual airport include personnel who are tasked to do the following operations, aircraft fueling suppliers, toilet effluent, tank extraction operatives, interior cabin cleaners, aircraft exterior to icing operatives, onboard food delivery suppliers, baggage, cargo and, or freight handlers, ramp agents and boarding gate operatives, flight dispatchers, and even customer service agents, may also loosely be described as ground crew. Other typical airport ground crew include personnel who are responsible for regular routine sweeping of all operational runways, runway exits and hold points, taxiways, hard standing areas, and passenger terminal areas, for clearing of any general and typical debris or garbage. This is absolutely critical to safe airport operations, as it the major process used to prevent foreign object damage, whereby a foreign object could sucked into an aircraft engine, or cut and puncture aircraft tires. On military facilities, ground crew members are tasked with daily FOD walks, or FOD plods, whereby a team of people will fan out in a line across the entire width of the runway, and walk the length of the entire active runway. To visually inspect the runway surface, and its immediate environs, to look for and removes any items or foreign objects found, this is typically done in the morning, prior to the first dispatch of an aircraft for that day. 
virtually all airports which cater for large aircraft will have a fleet of pushback tugs. Other possible classifications of airport ground crews may include airport shuttle bus drivers, airport firefighters, first aid and qualified medical services, police, and general guard and security services. Airports with international connections will also have passport control agents, border, customs and immigration force officers. Many airports also have a live animal reception center, staffed by vets, veterinary nurses, and administrators, for the purposes of checking animal health and welfare, along with correct documentation such as permits to fly, pet passports, etc., and will also be responsible for the prevention of importing any illegal, prohibited, or endangered species of animal. Dependent on geographic location, other airport ground crew may also employ winter service vehicles, specifically snow clearance vehicles, including fleets of multiple sweepers, plows, and snow blowers. Ground to icing operatives may be used, whereby one or more vehicles, similar to an agricultural crop sprayer with fold out extendable boom arms, is used to spray a non corrosive aircraft safe to icing fluid onto all operational hard surfaces. To melt any existing surface ice, and prevent the formation of new ice during the certified operating hours of the airport. Furthermore, teams of avian dispersal agents, commonly known as bird scarers, will be utilized to clear any birds, especially along the entire length runway, and also on the runway approach glide paths, and runway departure paths. For military airbases which operate armed aircraft, e. those aircraft capable of carrying explosive ordnance, or rapid-fire cannons, an extremely specific ground crew role is the weapon storage technician. Thanks for watching.